Hello, I'm Larry Davis, and this is an update on the Fisher Artificial Den Box Study. Fisher have their young in large diameter hollow trees. Trees like that are rare in managed landscapes. We're trying to see if den boxes like this one will be used by Fisher to give birth to and raise their young. We've had great success in 2016 and 2017 with four different den boxes used for reproduction in each year. To help measure Fisher use, we mount a GoPro camera on a selfie stick to check the den boxes for kits and surprise this mother inside the box. Returning later, when she was gone, we were able to verify that she only had one kit. When we examined the inside of another den box, the mother there wasn't quite as calm. You can see the solitary kit below the female. This den box has three kits in it. Knowing how many kits fishers have provides important data for fisher population estimates. The entrance holes for our den boxes are sized to mimic natural dens. We think that females choose dens with entrances that just fit them to help exclude larger predators, including male fishers. This female is having trouble getting her kid into the box. I don't think he's quite ready for bed. As the kids get older, they are able to climb in and out of the den without the mother's help. But as all parents know, mobile youngsters can quickly get themselves into trouble. This kid has got its head stuck between a branch and the den box. The female is trying to get him out before his squealing attracts a predator. It took a while, but this mother was able to remove this kid before he attracted more trouble. This female has two hungry kits that you can hear inside the den box. Females often have to leave dens for extended periods of time, looking for prey. While she was gone, this male fisher found the den and is trying to gain entry by chewing the opening wider. Fisher are sexually dimorphic with males being approximately twice the size of females. Unfortunately, this male is very persistent and was successful in entering the stem box after approximately 30 minutes of chewing. These kits did not survive the encounter. We think that squirrel chewing damage around the opening facilitated the male's entry into the den box. Red squirrels are attracted to the glues in the plywood structure, and you can see the amount of chewing on this box. To address this problem, we have installed solid wood door frames around the entrances of all den boxes. So far, we have seen very little chewing damage on the door frames, which should help address this problem. We also plan to change the design to include two layers of galvanized metal at the entrance. This will ensure that squirrels and male fishers are not able to enlarge the entrance. Monitoring this spring will determine if the door frames affect how fisher use the structure. We would also like to thank our project sponsors for their support and encourage you to check back for project updates this summer.